What's going on guys? TG or Thunder God here talking about more Baki on the channel, specifically the primitive caveman pickle. This will be somewhat more of an inverse Baki scaling vid, however I'll address where I think the character could place. Considering some of his feats, check out my Ujiro vid if you want something more comprehensive. That being said, if you enjoy Baki, anime in general, consider subscribing. If not, it is what it is. Let's get straight into the video. So in lore, pickle is just absolutely monstrous within the context of the show Baki. Off of his debut, we know this primitive man was shown comparable to Yujiro Hanma in strength, actually forcing Yujiro to use a technique to avoid getting overpowered by the brute. Now, this is base Yujiro, not with this demon back, but it's still a very impressive showing, further exemplified by Pickle breaking down the same steel door which Ujiro could only break down before him. Pickle was so impressive, in fact, that Baki was under the assumption that he was even stronger than Ujiro due to the fact that he was unable to recreate Pickle's aura despite having seen the brute and his abilities. Now, I want to put it on the record. I think Ujiro is stronger than Pickle as he just has way more techniques in his arsenal. The only perspective I could see for Pickle being stronger in the conventional sense is just via sheer force alone but even then i think it's questionable so i don't think it's a question of pickle being a superior fighter but if you did go down this avenue it would just at most be referencing sheer strength otherwise there's really nothing pickle has on yujiro at all the fact however that pickle is consistently in the conversation is very telling as most individuals in the verse are just nothing to yujiro so the fact pickle can even be compared to him is just impressive enough pickle views most fighters in the series as beasts or enemies he faced back in his age depending on the feeling they give off, their approach to battle, or the strength they exhibit. An example being Jack Hanma, who gave off the vision of a wasp despite being seemingly defeated, bringing Pickle back to a flashback where he actually put a wasp in his mouth after defeating it and experiencing searing pain. Pickle's instinct proved correct as Jack had unconsciously prepared to pierce his ears with his middle fingers and potentially reach the lower part of Pickle's brain. This altogether made Pickle back off, displaying his immense instincts off of never being exposed to such tactics, yet being able to relate to them via his own experiences with the regular wasp. Instinct at its finest. The only time Pickle generally retreats is when he's faced with an enemy that contradicts his values or what he's been exposed to, like like Jack in this situation, or Musashi Miyamoto, who is arguably among the top three in the verse. Although against Musashi, it was his most undisputed L, aside from Baki, who was also dominating Pickle until he decided to respect the primitive man by having a bout via raw strength alone. Regardless of that, Pickle is a lot like a wild animal, and certain creatures just aren't beneficial for him to fight. So when he fights Musashi, he just imagines an insect with like scythe-like hands that is able to just slash him up, and it's just it's not beneficial for him to fight or conducive to strength necessarily. Now, with that being said, I do think Musashi is above Pickle. But just to note that this always isn't a one-to-one. -one. Pickle would go on to show Curry's great feats like having a strength test with Hanayama. Hanayama, the same type of fighter who could tank a long barrage from spec without taking any significant damage. And this is impressive because we actually said spec is capable of nearly destroying the Statue of Liberty with his punches. He also blatantly defeats Katsumi Orochi and Retsukaya without unleashing his full power. Both of which at this point being extremely impressive in the verse in terms of speed and their arsenal. Pickle would then go on to defeat Bob. Baki Hanma. Now, to be clear, this is strictly in terms of physical might and due to Baki actually deciding to stop beating Pickle up with his techniques and fight Pickle just with, via raw strength alone, which leads to his defeat. So it's not necessarily that Baki's an inferior fighter to Pickle, but more so that he just chose to take a simple approach to Pickle when that just really wasn't his strong suit in that fight. Pickle is quite literally known for just beating down dinosaurs in his age with his rival being the T-Rex. So Pickle on a daily basis would just defeat multi-ton lizards. And this is even shown as he actually just puts a T-Rex in a chokehold and breaks its neck. So, you know, Pickle's just no slouch whatsoever. Now, even though Pickle is somewhat clear to talk about in terms of what he does because he just kind of chills around and for some reason just gets jumped by Baki characters because they just want to fight him even though he's a national treasure. There is a lot to talk about with Pickles. Let's start with his durability. One of Pickles earlier showings is having three 9mm bullets shot at his abdomen and just bouncing off point blank range. So this dude's crazy and I, it's not a speed issue either as Pickle has shown dodging the same weapon after it goes off. So it was just pure curiosity by the primitive man, which is actually how he kind of approaches most fights. Pickle's shown getting slammed in the face by a truck and getting up with no issues and then proceeding to rip the same truck in half. So, you know, modern, modern technology or any modern 
you know, weaponry is just not any issue to Pickle at all. Most interestingly, he's actually able to survive multiple whip strikes, which only left an imprint on Pickle's back. For perspective, Yujiro flexes all of his muscles in his body to avoid the feeling of the pain, which pretty much just, it makes you want to feel like you're dead. Even Hanayama is like told that he wouldn't be immune to this with his superior body. Yet Pickle gets hit not once, not twice, three times, and it just doesn't do any long lasting damage or break through like the outer layer of his skin. We also see Pickle being able to survive hits from Musashi Miyamoto's blade, which is unable to cut through portions of his body or his face. Musashi is just cutting through everybody in the verse, armored vehicles and people alike. There's even a scene at an airport where Pickle sees a young reporter and the bottom line I'm getting at is this is mostly due to Pickle's anatomy and how superior it is to a human, specifically how strong his neck is, resembling that of a buffalo. The reason this is so essential and why most techniques just don't work on Pickle is because the shock waves or any blows to Pickle's head due to how strong his neck is are unable to shake his brain. Meaning that even though people just get to beat him up, it doesn't really matter because he's used to just taking on multi-ton beasts. His body is just too different for a lot of these fighters to even get close to combating. So Pickle's honestly more of a dinosaur human fusion than anything else. Pickle's skills are also something I want to talk about as Pickle showcases vestiges of greatness and the showings of a prodigy as despite having no real like experience with martial arts he's actually able to master the basics of recent arts such as aikido without even knowing it displaying that despite pickle being primitive he's actually a battle genius that can improve almost infinitely if he got to the point he could master and apply more nuanced techniques like imagine everybody who's beat pickle up or just got to hit him for free and then just give Pickle their same abilities. It just wouldn't be fair. It just would not. And we actually see that Pickle can just amplify himself even further. As when he puts all his power into an explosive charge. It allows him to move faster and hit harder than normal. Which is consistent as this is the guy who is just having wars with Triceratops. And having strength battles with them. Pickle also having applied imaginary power too. As he imagines his fallen foes for power. This being the same trick that Baki uses when he practices against somebody. And what he attempted to do against Pickle. So this guy is honestly just a genius in his own right. Just like the fact that he has no training. But he's just picking up on all this. The fact that Pickle's imagination and understanding are at a such high level. To where he's able, actually able to imagine fighters that he has fought is really impressive because it confuses most characters in the Baki universe with none of them really being able to replicate it. So it's just really impressive and just goes back to like Pickle being ha having this almost primal amount of skill. So what I did there. This actually gets like, taken a step further as he has his own pseudo demon back. It's a different form. So on top of Pickle's feats, pretty much all of them being in base, he also has a demon back equivalent like Yujiro on Baki. This form actually does increase Pickle's strength and durability. We see this when Pickle displays a scar on his chest from the back of a T-Rex fight that not only signifies when he's going all out or getting serious, but actually changes Pickle's form. Bro literally got a transformation from squatting inside a T-Rex mouth. I mean, come on. This is when Pickle is going all out and using his full power, even possibly granting him minor regeneration as when entering his full power form against Musashi, he was able to heal or close all the wounds Musashi had made prior, stopping any of the deep cuts from bleeding further. His muscles also hardened in this form, so he would gain a durability boost on top of everything I noted before. The problem with Pickle, despite him being arguably one of the S tier fighters in the verse, is that he just has a lack of experience in martial arts or skill. However, this is something that can be improved on over time and more than likely will improve on over time. So Pickle will just only proceed to get better and better living in the modern age and learning more. So it's definitely possible that we could just start seeing more nuanced techniques from him, despite the primitive and honestly beast-like approach he takes to a lot of his fights. It's actually been debated among fans if Pickle is one of Baki's ancestors due to him having a demon-like back and sharing a similar stance to Yujiro when he fights. Pickle is honestly a more primitive version of Yujiro Hanma, but has the most room to grow out of any Baki character, so the re there really is no telling where his ceiling's gonna be. Pickle's stats at this point in the series are, I don't wanna say harder to determine, as interpret lower-end calcs and just give him hypersonic, city block level, really conservative stuff if you want to just be nitpicky, or if you want to take the strength feats, you can actually just scale directly off Yujiro and go for like the large town level stuff. Check out the Yujiro video if you haven't. But again, the problem is, is that a lot of fighters in the series just blatantly like amp their speed with techniques. 
But Piccolo doesn't really do anything. That he just has a really fast charge that he uses in his fights. So I wouldn't say the scaling for Pickles the most important thing. The main aspect of, that is important for him is his durability and his physiology because this is what really gives him the edge compared to a lot of these fighters i mean just just look at bro skeleton look at this this is this isn't a normal human what am i looking at this looks like if jack skeleton ate four more of himself it's not fair bro but that's the video hope you guys enjoyed the little pickle explanation again if you want some more crossverse stuff check out the ujiro video this is a more inverse uh discussion for pickle I'm also going to be working on other Baki characters. If you guys want to just see me go through this and cover Musashi when the anime comes out, make sure to like and subscribe, you know, keep up to date with the channel or just, you know, enjoy the video. But that being said, catch you next time. Bye-bye.